him, then it's his own dead body, Mark. You can do whatever you want. You can piss on it. It's your own dead body outline. All right, today I'm checking out Ministry. I'm listening to the song Revenge. Let's get into it. That body mark. Electric chair, is that what it is? I don't think she's strapped down or whatnot. I can hear almost everything except the chorus. He says, I something something what you feel. That's like the only part I can't hear in the chorus, you know, semi-important. You know, I would like to know, but maybe by the end I'll pick up on whatever that he's saying right there. But other than that, it seems like he's dead. You know what I mean? He's singing from the dead. That's why the song is called Revenge. Because he's watching her get electrocuted as he's singing from the dead. He's pissed off because he got pushed off the 13th floor. And that's why in the beginning there was that there was that body mark. I was like, what? Did he just put a cigarette on somebody's dead body mark? But I don't remember who did the cig cigarette. If it was him, then it's his own dead body mark. You can do whatever you want. You can piss on it. It's your own dead body outline. Who cares what you do with it? But that makes sense. I was like, this is, you know, what is going on? Like maybe he killed someone. That's what I was saying in the very beginning when I saw the dead body thing. But yes, I'm just so happy to be in the loop. I know what's going on. We got a high energy song. You know what I mean? It's late. We got high energy. Uh, life is good.
No, I want to see it. Y'all really electrocute her? Did you guys really electrocute her? I wanted to see it. Because uh, in movies, they show it. You know what I mean? It's not like they're really, they're acting. I wanted to see it to see if that was really happening. Because I was kind of doubting myself by the end of the song. I was like, wait, this could be metaphorical. It could be she's been cheating on him with that dude that she was walking around with. And he feels like he's been pushed off the 13th floor. You know what I mean? Like he's been backstabbed. He's been like killed in a sense. You know what I mean? That version of him that loved her just got killed, got pushed off the 13th floor. But if he really electrocuted her, then maybe not. Maybe he's like a ghost singing a song about actually being killed but you know it could go either way by the end of the song i wasn't thinking so literally i was thinking a little bit more artistically you know free flowing like, it doesn't have to be verbatim he got pushed on 13th floor for real even though he may have you know i mean i was in real life but you know in the story of the song he did he did get pushed off the 13th floor i was going back and forth in my head by the end of the song first half of the song i was good and i still don't know what he was saying in the chorus i i don't know how you feel like this. I, I do not know. But the, other than that, I heard like literally almost every word. I was so happy about that. But this is Ministry's first hit. See how different he is now? So different. So different. Completely different. Like this did not really feel very industrial to me at all. I mean, the drums sounded a little different than regular drums. Like they were a little different. And then the other sounds like, do you? And that's not the melody. But, you know, it's something, some sound like, beep, 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 something like that. Oh, yeah, completely different. They must have had a whole, like, evolution arc. You know, they kind of became a different band. And this is super different than a lot of ministry, ministry songs that I've heard. So different. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where did it go? Tell me boy you to go Like I don't know But I don't 